All right, well, just a few hours from now, Michigan State University interim president John Engler will be in the hot seat facing questions under oath from lawmakers in Washington. It's part of a Senate hearing on how to keep amateur athletes safe following the Larry Nassar scandal. Seven uh, investigator Ross Jones will be in the hearing room today when John Engler takes the oath. Ross is in Washington, D.C. this morning with a look at what we can expect. John Engler has weathered criticism from students, faculty, and survivors since he was named MSU's interim president. It's time for you to go. But today, Engler will face Congress as members of a Senate subcommittee call on him to testify at a hearing examining how to keep amateur athletes safe, all in the wake of the Larry Nassar scandal. While the panel is supposed to focus on the reforms made since Nasser, it's also possible lawmakers will bring up some of Engler's notable missteps since he took office in January, most notably when he accused a Nasser survivor in an email of taking a kickback. I expect John Engler to lie through his teeth to the Senate. Um, I don't expect much from him, and I would actually be shocked at this point if he did something right or changed his tone to be um, aligned with a moral compass. Morgan McCall is a survivor of Nasser's repeated abuse and one of John Engler's most vocal critics. She'll be in D.C. today to hear Engler for herself. I think these people need to see the faces of the people that they're talking about when they make decisions and when they, you know, claim to be moving forward from something. At least three other witnesses are set to testify along with Engler, including the president of USA Gymnastics and the CEO of the U.S. Olympic Committee. McCall says while she hopes they're all held accountable for the failures that allowed Nasser to happen in the first place. It's less about what they're going to say and more about the fact that they're going to be in a position where they have to answer for themselves. The hearing is set to begin at 2.30 this afternoon. We'll have live coverage on our Facebook page and full coverage beginning on 7 Action News at 5. In Washington, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News.